hello everyone i'm back with another video but basically it's a tutorial and this tutorial is going to be how to create a birthday card and y'all will love it just watch all the way to the end and you will see okay so the first thing i'm going to do here is go to create a design and i'm going to put custom you can either do custom size or you can go to hold on let me see here this one up there they usually have it up here it's cause you can do custom size or it's cord portrait but I don't see it it's not landscape it's portrait maybe I'm overlooking it but I don't see it but so let's go just go ahead to custom size click on that and we are going to do inches so it would basically be five by seven so the width will be five so you just put in five and the height is going to be seven okay oh my number lock was off okay so create then you want to just click on create new design Mm -mm -mm. no thanks and here's your blank document okay so the first thing you want to do here well the first thing I'm going to do here y'all can just follow along and do it however y'all want to do it but give me a few I'm trying to make this screen a little bigger okay so the color that I'm going for for this specific birthday card is black i'm going to click on it change it to black and this one i'm thinking about making it a pink and black theme well pink and glow i mean pink and gold and black so what i want to add here is on pink balloons so i'm gonna go to elements type in pink balloons Keep scrolling until you find the balloons that you want to use. So let me keep scrolling here. There's um this one set that I always like to use. If I can find it. And it's like a very, very pretty pink. Hold on, let me try something else here. Maybe it will pop up. Mm -mm. just keep scrolling until you find the ones that you like I don't know what's going on but usually it would have been popped up and there was some like very pretty pink balloons but let's just go back to the top and pink, um, pick those dark pink I mean so we could try this one this, yeah just, let's just try this and put it over here to the side One right there. Let's push up to the top. And I'm going to create another one. Put that one right here. Right to the all the way to the side right there. This one. I gotta like basically take it to the side like that. And so like this and another thing another well, tip that I would like to show y'all is like say if you want to like add a page and you want to basically take that same design right there and put it right here let me show you a shortcut of what you can do so just click it say if you want it in the same spot on the other document just click back click it well right click on it and hit copy scroll back down right click again and hit hold on allow and hit paste and as you can see it appeared in the same spot so that's one tip that i did want to show y'all so let me delete this right here and continue with the video and i'm just going to select all three of these 
and then place them on the other side. Well, I don't have to basically place them in the thing to make it different, a little different. Step right there and create another one, put that one right here. Okay, so this right here should be good enough. If you want to keep keep playing around with it, you can. But I'm just leaving it like that for now. And another thing that I want to also add on to this is how I found this. What I did was just type in gold. So click gold, and here it is right here. Make it bigger so I can fit. Drag it up, drag it up, I'm trying to see, yeah, that's that right ain't good enough. And you can place it behind the balloons by clicking on position and just hitting backwards. So let's see, now I have to hit it again. There we go. So, and if you want to put it to the bottom, you can, so that's what I'm going to do. Just hit double click and I'm going to put it to the bottom like that. You can flip it also. So if you want to flip it, just go to flip and it's right here beside crop. Just flip it vertical. If you want to do it like that. And get it to the same position. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do here, go back to elements and click on transparent gradient. Scroll down, click on this one right here. Turn that up. There we go. I'm going to change the color on this also. So, so before I do that, so it doesn't mess up anything. So yeah, because I know it's going to cover that up. What I'm going to do here is go in that corner where you change the color at. Click on it. Hit that plus sign. Get the color picker. Click on that balloon so I can bring out the same color in it. And I'm going to take that same element and hover over it and I'm going to push it back so push it back and let's see mm. okay so yeah that's good enough and I'm going to make another copy of it and I'm going to flip this so there we have it and I'm going to just leave this one right here as is and the next thing you want to do is find a model. And I have my model somewhere in here. Hold on. And as you can see, I have, I'm somewhat organized. So I have my models, I have my nail designs, I have my clip art. So this would be the best thing for you to do is just try to stay organized as much as possible. But I'm trying to find my model. I know she's in here. Mm. Maybe I'm overlooking. I don't know if she's. And if you want to know, I get these models from off of Pinterest. I search on Google and all. So that's basically where I get my models from. If you was wondering, but most of them, yeah, they come from Pinterest. And here is the model. Close that out. So what you want to do, if you want to remove the background on this, just go to, on the left hand side, go to edit image. And right here, just click on background remover. But of course, to use some of these features, you will have to have Canva Pro. Because it won't let you do certain things if you have the free Canva account. Okay, so I'm going to place it right here. Okay, I'm trying to see here. I'm go of course I'm going to like brighten the picture up. So I'm gonna bring it to the side like that. So let me go to add an image. Oh, I was on add an image. Go to add an image. Go to brighten. Just brighten her up a little. You don't want to look too dull. And yeah, I think that right there is good enough. So you get the picture however you want you want to do it. Okay, I think I want to bring it down just a little bit more. Yeah. 
So that right there is good. Okay, the next thing we can do here is go to let's go to text. Let me scroll back up. And I'm going to use this one right here. I'm going to type in right here. You're just going to basically just type in please join us for so that's what I'm going to type. Please join us for and let's put it right here. I'm going to change this to maybe like a yellow. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do this right here. I'm just going to leave it white. Okay, so we, we leave that white right there. And I'm going under that, I'm going to put it's going to be join us for Ashley's 30th birthday. So let me find a font that I'm looking to use so I can use this one and if you want to know the name of it it's called the billion so I'm going to drag that up and type backspace and just put in Ashley's Ashley's now I'm going to change this to the color pink also okay so let me go and change the color so that right there is good enough. And I want to also, hmm, let me see something here. I want to add another text. This one is going to be the 30th. So I'm, going, I'm making them different colors. So it's going to be Ashley's 30th. It's, they, it's going to be the same font, just different colors, basically. So we can make that a little bigger. And I'm going to add another text. And this is going to be for birthday. And I want to also change that to the color pink. So let's go to the text color. Go right there and there you have it and of course you will put the time date and well yeah just the time date location you will put all of that down here so to make this I don't want to make this video too long but this, this is exactly how you would do it, but let's do this real quick, and I'm going to be done with this video. So let's just put the date, so it will be on a Saturday, and let's find, what is it I'm looking for, um, looking for here, oh, Saturday, and it will be June, no, just put July, July. How did I put a team? July 1st. Then put another line right there. And it will be, I'm going to set the time to, I mean, to 4, I just say 4 p.m. So it will be 4, I got to make it off the, that p.m. off the case. So 4 p.m. And it could be any city any street and right here you just put a phone number so all right for the purpose of this video i'm just going to put 888 888 this is a fake phone number so please don't try and go to calling it so 8888 so yeah this is basically how you will do it and just line them up if you want to go and make the text bigger you can so and it's very easy and simple it's not hard to do at all so this was
be it for this video i hope you learned something i hope you enjoy watching this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below and again thank you for coming to my channel and watching my videos y'all have a good one god bless